so it's been such a crazy couple of days and the news is draining honestly if you're online it's like you, you kind of want to be in the know you want to know what's going on but then it's so draining just being online because it's like bad news everywhere but then it's not something you can completely shut out because this is something that affects all of us affects our children affects people around us affects people that we know it could be anybody and um i don't know just briefly i remembered something like it's just this whole thing about people instilling or parents instilling morals in their girls and really not doing anything for the boys and i remember as a teenager i used to be so shy and so scared especially when i'm walking on the street and then there are guys like gathered in one corner so this fear of men it has always always been there but then people are not attacking it from the grassroots parents are not attacking it from the grassroots i remember then there was this um guy that lived on my street and his parents had like this very big house they used to sell water and then the guy was asking me out at some point but then he used to hang around these very scary looking guys and usually in my house we we've never been the type that they're allowed to go out so if it's something that you want to say say go catch me for corner it's not going to happen the highest you would the highest place you will see me is to go to the hairdresser which is like a stone throw from my house and you'll never find us go out at night but then I remember even going out during the day when I see these people standing I'm so scared because we're constantly taught about rape being careful and being aware and just being alert as women but then I'm not thinking do people really teach boys these things are boys taught to respect women are boys taught to talk to women with respect are they taught to view you women in a respectful manner you know are they thought to not make women feel uncomfortable in their presence because these things are things that we grew up with and i guess that's the reason why you find a lot of girls and a lot of young women when things like this happen to them they want to cover it up they want to just keep it on the low because they highly feel that it's their fault it's like oh if i had done what my mother told me to do if i had done what my father told me to do this thing would have happened and it just also brought me to remember a time when i was in uni in uni i never went out i never clubbed i never did all of that not because i could not but then one day my friend Ada was like you know what let's go to this glow concert that's going on you know and in my year one i had this guy that was on my neck you know when a guy is so clingy he wasn't in my set he was like maybe 300 level i was 100 level i don't even remember what department he was in but this guy was on my freaking neck you know someone that he might be going towards the left direction and then he sees me going towards the right he then catches up with me and my friend and then he will walk with us if we're walking around the whole school this guy will walk with us and throughout that walk he's asking me how are you doing now what's going on why are you not talking to me why are you not relating to me so then i remember for the glow concert the guy told me about it my friend told me about it. so i told him I'm like okay you know because i remember one time i was very very sick and i don't know somehow the guy called me i told him i was sick you know he was caring enough to bring me drugs and all of that so we kind of started talking on a friendship level we went out i kind of saw him as a friend but i guess he still wanted to go forward with like you know asking me out and dating me and all of that so um for the glow concert i then told the guy i said okay i'm coming for the glow concert you know i didn't know this concert was going to end really really late and then we might not be able to find buses like i felt that there were going to be buses to take students back to the hostel because i stayed in the hostel so this concert went on i think till like maybe 12 midnight or one o'clock or something and then myself and my friend wanted to go we did not see bus i was just like waiting up what are we gonna do because we can't walk to the hostel we didn't have any friends that stayed off camp so this guy was the only guy that was with us that you know this guy was like our last option and i remember throughout the night i was just like is this going to end well i feel like in situations like that women are not thinking oh he's probably a man that would respect me we're just thinking we have to not put ourselves in those positions which i think is very very valid still very valid but i don't take away from the fact that i think the men are not properly groomed they're not as groomed as women are so i remember just throughout that i was so uncomfortable but the truth is that in the morning even though i mean 
I feel like he if he wanted to he might not have raped me but he could have tried something so I don't know it's just it's something that has always been there and I don't think I honestly don't think it's something that can um, that we can get rid of i don't think it's something that we can get rid of i think maybe the only options that we have is to raise the next generation of young men up in a way that all of these things are taught to them just as they are taught to girls because if we don't do that it's going to be another cycle of bullshit and it's going to be really really painful because the men that we have now who were probably not raised properly then grew up to be adult men a lot of them have still not changed the way they think a lot of them have still not tried to restructure their mindset and you know just work on that foundation that wasn't put up right so at this point i feel like when it comes to things like that the best thing is for women to equip themselves um for women to stand with each other for men who are not like that to also stand with women and defend women and um expose their male counterparts that do things like this and then hope that we raise the next generation of young men to be reasonable to be wise to be respectful to the woman you know because honestly it's, re it's really really painful i have girls in my house and a lot of times i'm just like it's scary it's it's really really scary honestly apart from the so many other things that you have to think about men are another set of problems that you have to worry about and i also remember um being in school i remember being in secondary school um i went to nigerian navy and um there was this night i remember this night that they call red night i don't know if anybody went to nigerian navy secondary school or jaw maybe my set or if you know my set but the, when, when i was in gs1 i was in gs1 then i remember so clearly um they said there was this thing that they called red night or red something i can't remember so we're all in the dining hall then in my school boys were still bothered because when i got to nigerian navy in my gs1 the ss3 boys were still bothered but then after that first set of boys that i met when i got to school um they kind of of wiped off boarding house for boys so boys all moved to abiokuta and then we had we just had this student boys um anybody that wanted to be a border moved to abiokuta or became a day student so when i was in just one i remember so clearly how we were all eating one night and then the whole lights in the dining hall just went off and then there was so much noise like chaos and we're hearing you know we use this very ugly um and those aluminium pots i don't even know this ugly dented pots and then people were like slamming the pots with spoons and banging on the tables and then i know that i've overheard people say that there's something they call red night and on red night um guys rape girls and all of that i remember um the hall was dark for a really really long time and the doors were flung open and when the lights came back on like people ran out in the darkness people ran out and me and a couple of my friends just ran straight to the hostel and you know after everything we we're hearing that some guys carried girls to their hostels to rape them and like it just i'm just like why 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 are men like that why what is it that they are not being taught in their homes what is it that their parents are not explaining to them what what makes them feel like they have this kind of liberty what makes them feel like they have this right you know what what what, what gives them this extra shoulder part to feel that they can live such a carefree life they can live a life where they don't respect women where they don't even respect anybody and they feel like that they shouldn't be held responsible for things like that where does this come from but someone wrote on twitter the person said um let me read the person said it's sex that deep why the fuck would you rape someone for fuck's sake and then dami said rape is not about sex it's about entitlement control and dehumanization and i also just remember the olori um the lady from canada that was I don't know that came from london or i don't know where she came from that um said the olori the, the king raped her or something and she said well if it is true but this is what she said she said um she woke up and then she found the man on top of her and then she's asking the man and then the man is telling her that he's the king 
it confuses me it's painful it's very painful because even as an adult even as a woman even as a mother i know that there are places that i walk through and i have this sense of fear especially when i see men gathered and it's not something that we should be experiencing it's not i remember if this even happened yesterday i remember um, i went to buy something for the girls and it was the market the market was already closed but then i walked into the market and then i asked the lady how much the stuff was and then she was taking me to where they had like a line of shops but then there was nobody there the shops had closed but then when i walked into that you know narrow line with shops there were like a group of men that i saw and the first thing that came to my head is am i safe like is this safe before i remembered okay someone is actually taking me and then i kind of looked around and you know realized that it was an open place so even as an adult you still you still get this sense of fear when you are in the midst of men or and things just look funny and it shouldn't be like that i don't know how it's going to stop because how do you how do you sensitize adult men how do you how do you teach adult men i feel like men that are doing this will continue to do this they don't need to be taught because as a child you are your parents are responsible for the things that you do as a child but then it gets to a point where as an adult you start to think on your own you start to make decisions on your own at that point if you cannot make decisions that are wise then that's a problem and that's on you not on your parents any longer so it's like how do we start where do we start from with men like this where exactly do we start from let us see these people suffering for the things that they have done capital punishment capital freaking punishment let people who do this let us see them hung let us see them die by whatever it is that they want to find squad whatever because we can't teach them it's either a case of do you want to leave or you just want to come for a couple of minutes or or you just want to punish somebody's child so weigh your options is it going to be that or is it going to be this that's how we want it to be this entitlement dehumanization control that's what it's about and it's the women that always suffer it that always suffer it i was chatting with someone in my dm and she lived in india i remember we chatted a while ago i remember we chatted a while ago when she talked about how schooling in india is for her and how she has to look over her back all the time and how you find that the men in india stalk you and then today she sent me a message telling me that you know i you know based on my insta story and then she's explaining to me how someone in india was raped and her body was dropped on the road with her boyfriend's body and when they asked him if he would do it again he said he would do it again because she was out late past 9 p.m now what is she doing out by 9 p.m where do we start from where exactly do we start from